Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Juan Solo here with A-Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today for some more Ghost Recon Breakpoint. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about all things with the gunsmith. So Ubisoft and Ghost Recon just put up a brand new article only a few minutes ago detailing everything about the gunsmith when it comes to the weapon customization, different attachments, the variants that I actually talked about in yesterday's video are confirmed in this article and it pretty much just goes in depth with everything from top to bottom in the gunsmith feature. So without further ado guys, let's jump right into the video. So I will link this article down in the description below if you guys want to go check it out for yourselves, but the developers went on to say that their goal with the gunsmith and breakpoint is to offer players as much liberty as they had in Ghost Recon Wildlands, but with a bigger impact on weapon behavior. With the new gunsmith and weapon system, players will feel how each attachment changes how the gun operates, and it's important to make each weapon and attachment combination feel different. So this was something that I also noticed in all of the gameplays that we've seen recently out of Gamescom and stuff like that. A lot of these weapons have a decent amount of recoil compared to how they were in Ghost Recon Wildlands and I think that is because of the upgrades that you're going to be able to do to your weapons in this game are going to allow for a difference in level when it comes to the accuracy and recoil and stuff like that. So they also went on to say that it's important to ensure a consistent high quality visual experience for the weapons which is why not all attachments are compatible with all weapons. The team's objective is to offer players as close as possible to real life spec ops loadouts in all compatible attachments. All of the attachments were selected based on extensive criteria so weapon category category, manufacturer, weapon range, and more. So basically, depending on what weapon you're using, there's only a set amount of attachments with that weapon. Do take note that there's a lot of attachments for each weapon, but you're not necessarily going to be able to use certain attachments with certain weapons. Also, the new weapon mark and dismantle systems have been implemented to improve this experience. So each weapon has a specific weapon mark progression system with a small stat upgrade and passives tied to it, and all of the bonuses were tailored to enhance the Spec Ops experience in Ghost Recon Breakpoint and were carefully balanced in both PvE and PvE. PvP. So for the most part, this feature gives a layer of additional depth for hardcore players who love to customize their weapons. So now talking about the different things that you're able to customize on the weapons in the gunsmith, players can customize the rail, the underbarrel, scope, muzzle, and magazine. New options will be added such as muzzle brakes and IR lasers, but the one main customization thing from Ghost Recon Wildlands that you see that is missing there is stock and barrel customization. So we will be talking about how that is factored in in a little bit. So there is up to 22 different options per weapon and with 57 weapons weapons at launch and there is actually 31 weapon variants at launch as well. There is going to be a whole lot of weapon customization in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Also the developers went on to say that in Ghost Recon Wildlands the community got frustrated when they were unable to change the attachments on legendary weapons. So for instance probably the biggest one was the Division LVOA assault rifle that a lot of people wanted to be able to put sights on and customize. You were not able to do that so that is not going to be like that this time around. With any DLC weapons or legendary weapons that you find in the game you will be able to fully customize them in the gunsmith and the developers also go on to say that they're going to be adding new attachments with unique behaviors post launch and they're also going to try to add more attachment variety per weapon category and the big thing here all of this content will be unlockable through gameplay you are not going to be required to buy these with real money it's going to be able to be unlocked through playing the game so next the developers kind of went on to explain why they removed some of the actual attachment slots and the gunsmith from ghost recon wildlands to ghost recon breakpoint so removing some attachments allowed for more in-depth attachment modifiers which grants more complex effects and emphasizes unique weapon variants that are unlocked through progression and exploration. Those variants called alternates have unique behaviors, stats, and parts such as handguards, stocks, triggers, and barrels. So this definitely nods to the video that I put up yesterday talking about the different variations of weapons that we're going to be seeing in Ghost Recon Breakpoint that basically confirms that. So with that being said, the variants act differently than their default counterparts and they will be different visually and in gameplay recoil. And and also they will have difference in range, damage, and stability because modern weapons can often be customized to transform your classic assault rifle into a CQC or a long range rifle and the goal of the variants is to add more options with a progression layer. So that is why the stock, trigger, and barrel customization in the gunsmith was removed to kind of go along with this variant system because they are included in the variant modifications. This basically allowed the developers to make a lot of improvements with each variant having new attachment possibilities, new fire modes, huge stat and behavior modifiers, and sometimes a different weapon category. So like I talked about in yesterday's video, an example of the weapon variant system is going to be the 416. So this was the image of the stock default factory version of the 416 that they used in this article. And there's going to be three variants with the 416. So there's going to be assault, which is called the ASU, a CQC called the Shorty, and the DMR called the Scout. And those are the three different variations other than the stock default factory version. So as you guys can see by this image, this is the assault version. So this was the one that we actually looked in yesterday's video 
it has a different stock. It has a longer barrel and what also looks to be like some sort of a modified receiver right above the magazine. And then you can compare that to this one, which I believe is the shorty version. So this is going to be your CQC, your close quarters weapon with the custom stock with the different sight and stuff on it. And this is going to be sort of like your close quarters combat weapon. And to be honest, I'm actually really excited to see how this plays out with Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I was a little bit weary when it actually came to the variants and stuff like that. But based on what they're saying, you can earn all of these in game by just playing and exploring the open world. So that makes me really excited to track these down. But they also go on to say that not every weapon is going to have a variant. They made sure to provide variants to our more iconic weapons and most of the assault rifles for launch. A variant is almost as complicated as designing and balancing an entirely new weapon and they wanted to focus on providing unique weapons that feel distinct. And like I said earlier, there's going to be 31 variants available at launch and more planned for post launch and they're really excited to see how players dig into the variant customization. So they also went on to say that you are going to be able to fully customize the color of your weapon all the way down to coloring each attachment with its own camo pattern and color. And then also one of the community requested features was canid sights. So basically a sight sort of on the side of the weapon that you can kind of lean the rifle and get a different sight. A lot of players were interested in having this option, but the devs went on to say that they have no plans to add this item currently and they're going to keep an eye on player interest for the future. And then they also went on to explain that they reworked the entire reload animation system with Ghost Recon Breakpoint. And in Breakpoint, reloads have been improved with the authenticity team who motion captured real operators to ensure the animations feel like a real spec up soldier. And in Ghost Recon Breakpoint, they actually split the reloads between empty and non-empty and you're going to be able to unlock a faster reload speed which will affect the animation that you see. And as you guys can see here, this is an example of those different animations, but that's pretty much going to do it for the video. This was a full breakdown of what we're going to be seeing in the gunsmith in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. To be honest, I was a little bit worried before I actually read this article, but now I'm just looking forward to deep diving into all of the different features with the gunsmith. But like I said, that's all for the video. If you guys enjoyed it, you guys are excited about going in and tricking out all of your weapons in the new gunsmith in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Make sure to drop a like on the video and also subscribe if you are new to stay up to date on the latest information surrounding Ghost Recon Breakpoint on the channel moving forward. And also make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel tomorrow morning. So the beta goes live at 6 a.m. Eastern time in the United States. And I plan to have a upload right at 6 a.m. and then throughout the day. So make sure to stay tuned and turn on those post notifications so you guys do not miss any of my uploads. With the beta going live tomorrow, expect to see a lot of content on the channel from tomorrow on. But that is all for now. Thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.